Hello YouTube. In this video I wanted to talk to you about how I converted my Beretta 92FS uh, grips to a Vertec profile. These grips are made by VZ as you can see their logo right there uh, but they're sold by Wilson Combat and I'm sure VZ probably sells them too. Uh, they're made of G10 material and um, I like their texture. The reason why I decided to modify them and I'll flip them over later so that you can see the, see the result. Um, but the reason why I decided to modify these is because I got these original Beretta 92 Vertec grips from Beretta. These are plastic grips. And as I found out, the Vertec uh, frames were slightly different from the Beretta 92 FS frames. In that, on the Vertec, the grip screws are positioned a little bit closer together than on the 92FS. So when I got these grips I had to modify them uh, to fit. And that in involved uh, basically dremeling out the screw head holes and the bushing holes inside uh, so that the grips could even sit on the frame properly. And what that created was a small gap on the outside edges between the grip screw head and the hole in the grip. I'll show you a picture of that. So I didn't, I didn't like that um, and I also didn't really care for these grips. Uh, the funny thing is that the Beretta M9A3 uh, grip that I got to check my radius when I was converting my frame it actually fits perfectly. So the 92FS uh, position of screw holes or screws and the M9 E3 is identical. I will show you pictures because I didn't actually film the process. I will show you pictures of what I did um, step by step basically in converting these. The tool I used came in this set. This is a Prosperity Tool Florida USA 5 uh, diamond needle file set. The size of files is 3 millimeter diameter by 140 millimeter uh, length, I guess, and 30 millimeter maybe work area. I don't know. 3 millimeter by 140 by 30. So the tool I used was a round needle file. As you can see it's curved like so and the working surface was right here on the bottom of this spoon-like shape. So here's the look at the original grips and how they looked before the modification. I flipped them over and measured the thinnest area uh, between the shoulder and the uh, area where the beaver tail starts and then I mark parallel lines uh, to the shoulder then I cut them off using a hacksaw and filed them straight um, at the rear so you can see that edge and then I beveled them so you can see I removed some of the checkering and uh, just trying to make sure they follow the shape then I used that uh, diamond needle file to cut the new border in you can see that new border and then I repaired the checkering that I removed uh, when filing. So the way I use this tool, first of all let's take a look at the grips. Here's what they ended up looking like. Hopefully you can see that they turned out pretty good and I was able to restore the border line or create a new border line and restore checkering all the way to the border line hopefully all of that you're seeing let me show you the other side here's the other side so the way you would use this tool is as I said before you would just use the bottom of the spoon and uh, I just guided it very carefully on the edge to create the border 
and then also following the lines uh, of the checkering, uh, same round file was used to to bring the checkering back into uh, into where it was supposed to be, basically. So in both directions, following the lines. The only problem is is that the G10 grips. Uh, when they were CNC machined or milled, um, I am imagining a small bull nose end mill was used and many many passes were made so this actually leaves kind of a rough texture on the grip and I can't replicate that because with this file I'm creating smooth texture but as you can see hopefully from the from your screens it actually doesn't look all that bad. A little smoother, but still not bad. Hopefully you can tell. So this is how I converted these grips to a Vertec profile. And because they're original 92FS, the grip screws uh, will line up perfectly. Thank you for watching.